here it is about sales you know women in business and women in leadership always have to sell themselves and if you sell yourselves well you have opportunities that show up for you all the time you know i wanted to play with some words today and i realized that one of the things that we as women do really well when we're selling is that we bring in the mm, Mm -mm. the pizzazz that's right we bring in the pizzazz pizzazz is such a, a fun word and it's a really secret word for great sales success so I want to break it down because that's what I do is I like breaking down the words so that you can follow along and know how sales ooh, 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 is pizzazz so what is pizzazz Pizzazz is an attractive combination of vitality and glamour. You know, vitality and glamour. Those are two interesting words to put together. Vitality is that energy, that drive, that presence that you have that says, I'm excited about being here in the world. I'm excited about that. Glamour is the way that you do it glamour is that oh yes i am here yes i am glamorous in what i do and how i do i own my stuff i can strut my stuff i know who i am let's talk about what pizzazz really really stands for so it's p i z a z z pizzazz the first part of possess is P of positive presence. You cannot go in if you're pitching for an opportunity, if you're pitching yourself for a deal, if you're pitching yourself for a meeting to just pitching yourself, you have to come in with a really positive presence. That means that you're strong, that you feel aligned, you're looking straight, you're not cocking your head in any such way. You're staying really focused on the person or people that you're speaking to. And you come in with a presence where your shoulders are back, but it's not forced. And you're walking in with, yes, let's just talk. Let's just have this positive presence because no matter what, no matter what in every interaction you want to have with people that they feel your positive presence that you go in with a super big positive presence and that means that you're smiling you're looking straight at them and you're making sure that when you're doing that you're also having this concept of prosperity and abundance because if you're there you are so and you're there and you're pitching you are there for their success whatever you're offering whether it's that you're offering an appointment for them you know that if they meet with you they will have a better day they will have a more influential day they'll have an impactful day if they buy your services you know that they are buying solutions to issues that they are dealing with so make sure you're smiling and you're having a positive presence filled with concepts of prosperity and abundance because when they feel it from you they will want to play with you you want to make sure that it's an invigorating experience let's just tell it as it is most meetings most calls are just boring they're not interesting they're not engaging they're not informative and they certainly would never be described as an invigorating experience when you're selling with pizzazz you are absolutely going in with the concept of invigorating the experience so that means before you ever walk in before you ever go in you have to pump yourself up you yourself have to get yourself into a place of knowing I got this I got this we're gonna have fun and you got to get yourself moving and groovy it is so important before you start pitching yourself before you go into a meeting before you go even on camera that you are feeling the fire within yourself so that then the person on the other side or the people on the other side truly feel your presence your power your desire to create an experience for them that is memorable for years we said here at my company at team Pegine, 
we produce extraordinary experience for billions of people. We truly want people to feel better after having an experience with us. We, I want you to have a better life because of your experience with me right here. So you're supposed to have and produce and create and show up and create an invigorating experience. You have to have zest for what you do. You know that, you know, you, there's something called zesting the lemon where you kind of take the lemon peel and you just scrape it and you put it into cakes and things like that. And it adds a little uh, woo into the experience. You have to feel a woo about what you do. You have to be have this zest of from the time you wake up to the time you put yourself to sleep to say, I love what I'm doing. I've got zest for what I'm doing. This is what I'm about. And let me tell you, if you're not feeling that way about what you're doing or what you're studying or wherever you are, you really want to take a step back and see what parts of what you do give you joy, make you feel really excited about what you do make you see the solutions coming that you offer people because here's the thing is a lot of people just think about okay we're going to make the phone call we're going to make their email we're going to make the linkedin connection we're going to do this 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 and after a while it becomes so rote that there is no energy or zest behind what you're doing the sentence may sound the same if you've been doing it after a while but when you add zest to it it's interesting that other people can feel the zest that you're bringing forth. Sometimes it's just that you change a word because you've spent a few times in really invigorating yourself, invigorating yourself, getting zestful about what you do. And so that slight change of word creates an energy in terms of what you're sharing, whether it be on LinkedIn or an email or in a phone call or in a video message. It is important that you uh, analyze yourself. Are you filled with zest? And if you're not, what are you going to do about it? It's really important. A stands for ask lots of questions, especially why questions. Why, why are you here? Why did you make that decision? Why are you looking for new opportunities? Why are you looking for solutions? Why is it that you're, um, why is that that you want to talk to me? The more why you can ask, the more information you get, the more you can then be in service to them because you understand their why. And too often we're so busy in pitching that we're not really being interested in their why. When you know their why, hmm. Things just flow for you with ease and grace. Oh, I love this word. You know, you'd think that it would be easy to find Z words. It took me a while. I had to really do some research and look at Z words, words that would work for this particular pizzazz that I'm talking about. I fell in love with this world. Zealousness. I mean, can you just, you can even say it, zealousness. Oh, there's just energy in that. It's a ball of fire. And especially industrious or zealous person and excessively aggressive well, maybe that's not a good, good word or ambitious yeah bring it on i am ambitious and a go-getter you're in this world to serve you want to have this zealousness about you you want to be a ball of fire that just says i'm here i'm ready let's go let me share when you and when you're especially industrious it means that you're a really hard worker you're someone that's really giving your all in service of the people that you want to, to be with and that you want to serve. You know, it is also about making it okay that you're ambitious. Yes, somebody might call you excessively aggressive. That's their perspective. And especially from uh, with women, they'll throw out that language of excessively aggressive when what you are is ambitious. What's wrong with that? It's pretty cool. I like ambitious women. I like women in leadership. I like women in business. I want those women to be out there with zealousness. I want you to 
be expressive of your zealousness. That's what we really, really want. By the way, you can add any comments. If you're watching this, you can add comments and I can bring them on uh, onto the camera so that people can see you, see what you're thinking. I would love to see what you want to say. So you, if you're watching this live right now, just put in your comments and I'll bring you on. And then the final part of pizzazz. Ooh, I love that word. Let me just, so you can see pizzazz is what I call the zippity doo da. This is, you know, a calm awareness that everything can work out for you and that every day is a really great day. And there's a song that came from an old, old Disney movie going zip. Bitty do da zip bitty day. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine, plenty of big, yeah. Zippity do da zippity day. Now, listen why that's important. That helps you create this, this attitude of things are always working out for me and I'm here to make sure that I serve you and that I am prosperous and that I'm able to serve you and I'm able to sell to you my services, my product, my insight, my wisdom, my clarity, my brilliance, so that you can absolutely positively thrive and succeed. So I want to just be able to encourage you to go for your pizzazz. I mean, seriously, Live with pizzazz, sell with pizzazz, show up with pizzazz, because when you do, doors always, always, always will open for you. Opportunities will always, always, always show up for you, and you will close deals, guaranteed. My name is Pegeen. You could follow me. You all in my groups, you know that I love you. Take care.